Hey, today we are going to be replicating this effect. A lot of things have changed since the time I made this in Blender 2.79. I had to search for a workaround certain things since they now work differently. But here we go. Open one of your older projects with some cool hard surface model. So first we want to make sure all the parts share the same material. Select them all, make one active, go to materials and add a new material and then hit Ctrl L and choose materials. Unfortunately in my case some of the parts had more than one material so it didn't work quite well so I had to go and manually clean them up. Ok, looks good. Let's go to shading and plane, play with the scene a bit and make it so that the microscope hovers on top of the plane a bit so that this, the shadow is soft. Now let's delete the principal, add a mix shader and a transparent shader and we want to render it either totally black or invisible based on the ray so that for the camera our microscope will be invisible but for the light it will cast a shadow which is what we want. The next thing we want to do is enable freestyle in render settings and then scroll down in the view layers to freestyle tab and check as render pass and also check render uh, collection and choose our microscope so that only it gets the uh, outline. Now let me tweak some render settings. Moving on to compositing, let's denoise our image first of all and let's mix in our freestyle stroke using alpha from separate RGBA. You see this white outline? We want to split it into channels and work with individual ones. So let's separate RGBA and combine RGBA and add some nodes in between. So what do we want? We want to blur some of the channels and we want to display some of the channels and uh, that's basically it. That's all we're gonna do. Let's add blur node and displays uh, translate I mean translate node and let's use it for all of our channels except alpha and let's tweak them uh, to our liking and do a test render oh yeah before that we want to multiply the stroke by some color and that's that's gonna be that's gonna define the color of our stroke surprise It gives us more control over the look of the final image. Let's tweak some settings even more before we do the render and let's see how it looks. So it's a bit too dim, so let's add a viewer so that we can see what we're doing. Uh, we want to multiply uh, the stroke by let's say 2 and 5 or 3 or... No, let's go with 2 and 5. Yeah, looks good to me. I want to tweak the color more. And let's set the background color to more purplish. Here we go, we made 